Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a different type of video and it's related to keto and losing weight, but it's a little different. And this one, I'm gonna call it, is there a food pusher in your life? <laughs> so I came across this article and I'm gonna read it to you guys and explain a little bit to you guys what a food pusher is. Dieting is never about eating as little as you can. It's about never eating as much as you can. A food pusher is a person who will lead you to unplanned eating. They are all around and they push food that is high calorie and unhealthy. Whenever you are not paying attention, they strike and they win. They do this because you allow it. Know who your food pushers are and have an action plan ready to execute. Everyone has someone that knows the special treats that you love to devour. In this instance, the food pusher is showing love by offering you something special. When someone is pushing food due to loving you, it is very difficult to say no. Saying no will be perceived as not accepting their love. If it is your choice to eat, plan on it. But if this is an item or a pattern you want to end, there are always there are ways to accomplish it. Accept the, their love by accepting their kind gesture and turning down the food. Use words that will easily roll off your tongue. Practice and be prepared. You can say something similar to thank you so much, that looks delicious. Thank you, I think I'll have it later. Or you made this for me, thank you, everyone will love this. Make sure you say thank you and that you Never say no. Acknowledge and accept their love and efforts without accepting the food. Jealousy also encourages the food pusher. Often people are jealous of you or are unhappy with their own appearance. Misery loves company. Some may not be aware of your health issues or they don't think you need to watch your weight. They might not care how you feel inside. These are the people it's okay to respond to by saying no. When you elaborate and say, no, I'm watching my weight, or no, I really shouldn't, what the food pusher hears is, twist my arm harder and I'll eat right along with you. The more words you use, the more ammunition you give them to get you to eat. At this point, it's all about them and not you. Be strong and use few words. No, thank you. No or not now, will suffice. Do not, do not invite further conversation on this issue. How about the groups that you celebrate with or with whom you dine out who think constant food equals a good time? You may feel you need to partake to be included, but that is not so. Decide what you want to eat and remember that you are there to eat and enjoy, not overeat and feel badly. Eat slowly and socialize. <clears throat> Less eating gets done when more socializing takes place. Once others begin to eat and drink, they rarely notice what you are doing. Get the food pusher to eat first. Pass a platter and say, did you try this? You can look at someone else's plate or drink and say to the food, to the food pusher, doesn't that look great? Once they focus on themselves, they most likely will not pay attention to your eating or drinking. Are you your own food pusher? Is there food you believe must be in the house to make family members happy? How about the many evenings you sit in front of the TV snacking with others? This can all become too hard to handle and is a form of food pushing. The food you keep in the house for others is for others. The question you need to ask yourself is, what is the real reason this food is in the house? Once you know the true answer to that question, you will be better able to decide what food should really be in the house. Maybe it's time for different items. Maybe food items are purchased because you like them. Snacking while you watch TV is a pattern that is worth breaking. While you can't change others, you can change yourself. Often you have an eating seat. Simply by changing your seat sends a message to your brain that a new habit is forming. You can also keep your hands and mind occupied with a puzzle, your tablet, or a craft. The more prepared you are to contend with the food pushers in your life, 
the healthier you will be. Focus on what you want most rather than what you want now. All right, so the reason I wanted to share this article with you guys is because I think we all have those food pushers in our lives, you know? We all have those people that when you get together, wherever you go, oh, have some of this. Oh, but you've lost so much weight already, you know, just give yourself a treat or whatever. I've talked about this before in one of my videos and one of my viewers made a comment and she was like, I know exactly the type of people you are referring to. And she was like, those people are called food pushers. And that is correct, you guys. That is very correct. And it's true. A lot of people do it just because they want to see you enjoy it. For example, if it's your family and you know it's a loved one that cares for you and they just want to see you enjoy yourself, you know, for example, grandma or a mom, you know, that made a yummy dish or one of your aunties, you know, and, you know, they just want to see you enjoy yourself. Some, sometimes they mean well, but they can't understand that uh, we are no longer dieting. This is a lifestyle change for us and our eating habits were changed throughout this course for a reason and number one being our health because we came from a place where we were morbidly obese most of us you know at least but then there are the other half of the other side of the coin that is not so nice and people usually have an ulterior motive and like the article said the real reason behind it is jealousy. Most of these people are jealous because mystery loves company. They're jealous because you lost the weight, because they see how strong you are and how strong you are to resist these special treats that they themselves cannot resist. They see themselves as they don't have the same willpower that you do to say no to these foods, you know? So a little jealousy stirs up in there in them and they wanna get you to try and, you know, go off plan or give yourself that treat or cheat and maybe even in the hopes that you gain your weight back little by little you know so you must be very careful you guys with people's intentions if you don't stay completely a hundred percent dedicated and motivated and focused these types of food pushers whatever the reason may be behind the reason why they're pushing food to you, whether they love you or they're jealous of you, doesn't matter the reason. The consequences are the same. They will derail you, make you lose focus, lose track. In the two years that I have been doing keto, not one single person has ever been able to convince me to have a food that I did not want to consume. Not one. They've all tried. And like I said, most of them mostly, you know, with good intentions, like when you get together with family for holidays or whatever. And some of them could be a little jealous of your of your weight loss, you know, of the attention you're receiving. And whether there's an ulterior motive behind it or not, it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, I didn't give in. I'm responsible for my own actions and what I do. I believe there has to be a balance in everything you do. And speaking of balance, don't even get me started on the keto police, okay? You guys know how much I love keto and I am 100% committed. I am a keto gal for life. It is my lifestyle forever. But I believe there must be a balance, okay? People who are food pushers, the keto police is just as bad as food food pushers. Don't even get me started on that. You know, people who are so concerned with what you eat, you know, like you go to a restaurant and you post some pictures up, you're out having a nice time with friends and family or whatever. And right away they're asking you, oh, so what are you going to eat? Are you cheating? Are you treating yourself? Are you celebrating anything? Um, why does it concern you what I eat? Don't worry about it. That's my business, not yours. I'm an open book regardless. I share everything with you guys out there. I post everything on social media, uh, what I do, where I go, what I eat. I love sharing my recipes with you guys. I love posting food porn pics. You guys know me. All my, my YouTube, Instagram, Facebook is all filled with all these uh, foods that I consume. And yes, I've had a few 
cheats and treats throughout my journey. Um, like I said many times before on my videos, it's something that doesn't happen often. It's a very rare occasion when I give myself a cheat or treat day. But at the end of the day, you guys, your weight loss journey is your weight loss journey, is your business, nobody else's. You choose to share with others because maybe you want to motivate others, encourage them, you know, and that's the reason why I do it. I share my weight loss journey, not only for accountability, but so that I could go back and see my progress. And, and it helps me and motivates me to keep going when I see progress. But don't get it twisted. Okay, I share as much as I want to out there, but I don't have to share my entire life with every single person out there. What I put in my body, what I eat, it's my business. I chose the keto lifestyle and that's what I want for the rest of my life. But if I decide to have a day where I give myself a day, most of the time I do share that stuff with you guys. I'll go and if I post something, I'll be like, you know what, today I'm treating myself, you know? And I'll post something on Facebook. But there are times that I'm just simply having a good time with friends and family. And I go to a restaurant and I'll, I'll check in to the restaurant that I'm at. And I'll just post, you know, oh, with hubby or with, you know, friends and family or whatever. And I may not be posting food pictures all, all the time at that moment. And people are automatically, oh, what are you going to eat? Are you going to cheat again? Are you going to, it's none of your business. If I didn't post it, why do you got to be keto police on me? It's none of your business. It's my body. It's my life. It's my problem, you know? So it's, food pushers are just as bad as keto police. I hope to God that I never turn into one of those people. Like, my husband says that I nag him sometimes about keto, but I care about his health. But I don't constantly go up to people out there, you know, strangers or even a friend of mine. If a friend of mine is doing keto and she's eating something that's off plan, I'm not going to be harassing her, telling her, oh, you're not eating keto today. Oh, what are you doing? This and that. No, that's her business. It's her problem, what she eats and what she does with her life. I don't need to be no keto police. That's not my problem. I should focus on me and concentrate on me, you know. So like I said, there has to be a balance. But yes, you guys, I don't want to get off track here because this video is, um, the purpose of this video was to talk about food pushers because that's what this article that I was reading is about. And it made me realize that you guys, you don't, we don't realize sometimes how surrounded we are by food pushers. You know, I've encountered quite a few in my life. I've had people invite me to, you know, to restaurants and to, and to stuff, even at being in my own um, space where I'm doing something and maybe a barbecue or something and I'm keeping it keto. And people will like literally come up to me and be like, Oh, you're not cheating today. You're keeping it keto. I'm like, you damn right. I'm keeping it keto a hundred percent, you know, and it kind of like, it kind of pisses you off a little because, you know, if it was somebody that just wants to see you enjoy yourself and they really care for you, it's like, all right, you know, they mean well, but I know when somebody doesn't mean well, I know when somebody's jealous of you, because like I said, misery loves company. They are miserable and they want to see you the same, you know, they see you doing so good and they want to get you off track. So that that way they don't feel so bad about themselves when they couldn't say no to the sweet treat or the bad food, you know? So you must watch out for those types of people, you guys, because they will derail you and make, make you lose track. Fortunately for me, that has never happened. I have never let anyone control me, manipulate me, or be a food pusher in my life where, to the point where I gave in and I was like, oh, you're right. You know what? You're right. It's a treat and have the food. Nope. When I say no, it's no, respect it. If not, I just simply walk away because people need to respect my decision to eat healthy. If that makes them uncomfortable and jealous and insecure of themselves, that's all them. Don't bring it upon me. Don't bring it upon me because I'm strong and no food pusher is going to make me go off plan. Now, if I decide to have a cheat, it was because it was my decision. Nobody pushed me into it. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, stay tuned for more. I'll see you on my next video. All right, guys, bye-bye.